All right, what's happening everybody? What is the best e-bike for climbing steep hills? People ask me all the time, I'm considering XYZ bike, you know, is it gonna climb the steep hills around my house? I don't know, man, like how steep are the hills? I have no idea. So instead, in this video, instead of telling you which bike is the best and which one you should go buy, I'm just gonna show you some real life footage that I compiled on eight different e-bikes. And I'm gonna hopefully illustrate to you what I think you should look for in an e-bike if you need strong hill climb power because i think there's a couple things to point out that make a bike strong on the hills this is one of them right here the bike tricks stunner x it was super strong on the hills so that's in the lineup so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to show you clips of eight different bikes climbing this really steep hill by my house it's about in between 16 and 18 percent grade on the hill and it starts out incline and it's got a bump in the middle right and that that put a hurting <laughs> on a lot of the bikes because not all of them made the hill. And that, that bump in the middle, the hump in the middle really slows them down quite a bit. And then if they can get over that little bump, they tend to make the hill. So let's take a look at some of the bikes. They might even be the bike that you're currently riding. So this will be interesting. And also for reference, I weigh 180 pounds. So that's what the bike is pulling up the hill, 180 pounds. And it is a pretty steep little hill. I don't live in a hilly area unfortunately so i don't have a lot of steep hills this is kind of the steepest one i've been able to find and i've been testing bikes a lot more there lately to see if they've got enough download torque to get up that incline over the little bump and crest the hill or not so let's take a look at how some of these bikes did all right first up we got the rad mini step through this is my wife's bike she loves this little bike i like it too it's a nice little bike but the rad power delivery it's got a very smooth acceleration off the line so i didn't get a really fast run at the hill and the rad power bikes they peak at 750 watts that's kind of their maximum output so unfortunately that was not enough to get this bike up the hill under its own power if you would pedal put it in first gear and pedal you'd make the hill just fine but under rad power only uh, this bike could not do it next we tried the b explorer bike from b cool bikes again 750 watt fat tire e-bike Power delivery on B-Cool is very similar to the Rad delivery. It's very smooth, slow takeoff. You know, they have a gradual start to them. They're not very jumpy. And it's got a peak output, maybe like 800 watts. So not crazy high peak. And again, that just wasn't quite enough to get up this hill under throttle power only. Again, when you come to hills like this, I'm, I'm maxing these bikes out. You're not supposed to do this to these bikes, right? When you get to a hill that's this steep, you're supposed to help it and pedal. It's not good for the motor to do what I'm doing. I'm just doing this to show you guys. So unfortunately, the Beacle didn't have quite enough juice to get up that hill throttle power only. After that, we tried the Gen 3 Groove. Now the Gen 3 Groove has a 500 watt motor that peaks, I think they say it peaks at a thousand. And it's really, really strong and quick off the line on the level ground. I thought it was gonna make the hill, but unfortunately, it just didn't quite have enough to, to crest that little bump in the middle of the hill and it came to a stop. So again, the Gen 3 couldn't quite get up the hill. So those were the bikes that didn't quite make it over the crest of the hill. They, they fell a little bit short. That doesn't mean they're bad bikes. I mean, again, this is kind of a, I'm, I'm really maxing these bikes out and doing stuff with them that you're not supposed to do. All of these bikes would have made the hill easily if you just help it and pedal a little bit. So don't let that, I guess, deter you from buying one of those bikes if you really like those bikes. I actually really like all three of those bikes. But now let's check out some of the bikes that did make it up under throttle power only, which is pretty impressive after you've seen a couple strong bikes fail at it, right? So the first one we'll look at, I did the snap cycle, right? 750 watt fat tire e-bike, but it has a higher peak. It peaks over a thousand. I'm not sure quite how high, but it did have enough power to make the hill. I mean, it came real close to stopping it was it slowed way down but it had enough power to crest the hill and get over the hill it was one of the first bikes i ever tried this hill with and i was quite impressed with it that it, it made it up under throttle power only so snap cycle did it the next bike that was able to conquer the hill was the Cy rusher komoda bike again 750 watt fat tire e-bike but it has a higher peak it's peaking probably close to a thousand watts and this bike was able to get up the hill, get up and over that little hump in the middle of the hill and crest the hill and do it all under bike power, throttle power only, no pedaling. So impressive from the Komodo bike out of Cyrusher. Next, we tried some more powerful bikes just for comparison to see how much stronger they are. So I tried the Aerial Rider bike. The, I have the X-Class 52 volt bike, which has a thousand watt rear 
hub motor with metal gears inside and it peaks at 2000 watts it is a really strong bike it, it pulls off the line hard it's fast it goes 33 miles an hour with me on it and that bike made the hill and it, it made it pretty easily i mean that was that's a lot of power to put into a, an e-bike and it conquered that hill pretty much no sweat i mean it slowed down on the bump in the middle but it was it was like i was never afraid that it wasn't going to make it right so it did well and again if you pedal with it it would be even easier to get up the hill so aerial rider crushed it and then after that i tried my dual motor dual motor two 500 watt motors in the emx extreme bike from fabulous and again no problem that's got a peak output i think 1500 watts and you've got two wheels pulling you up that hill and it was just digging man climbing that hill no problem though again it wasn't ever concerned that it wasn't gonna make it and if you would pedal it would go up even faster for for certain so very strong out of the emx extreme bike that made it as well and the last one i tried for comparison was this one right here this is the bike tricks stunner x so i threw in a mid-drive bike for comparison because i want you to see the difference it's an important difference so instead of having the motor inside the rear wheel it's got it right here in the center of the bike and it's a 750 watt mid-drive motor which is very very powerful it's probably the most powerful bike i have honestly uh very torquey bike 120 newton meters of torque out of that motor i believe whereas the 750 watt bikes i think they're like 85 newton meters versus this 120 so this has got a lot of hill climb power so let's take a look at what happened with this one here we go whoa pulled the wheel off the ground <laughs> when I started. There's the bump. Slowed it down, but still just no hesitation at the scene. Just killed it. I mean, that was effortless for this bike. Just destroyed that hill. That is the mid-drive power. Um, maybe I'll go try it in first gear too, just to see if there's any major difference, but walked up that hill just a breeze all right we downshifted into first gear i don't even really need a running start all the other bikes i was trying to give them like a little bit of a running start at it this bike is just unnecessary you have just instant torque off the line so much so that i'm gonna have to baby the throttle or i'm just gonna pull the front wheel in the air it just do a wheelie but let's see how it does in first gear we'll kind of ease into it there we go Whoa. all right now hit it this is maximum torque power right here. Yep, didn't skip a beat. Probably the strongest bike, even stronger than the, you know, 2000 watt aerial rider and, and the dual motor bike, stronger than that. This one felt the strongest, absolutely. I mean, it is, it's 120 Newton meters of torque, so. You just have gobs of power, down low power. You want down low hill climb power? I mean, this is this is what you get right here. The 750 mid-drive motor or get the thousand, I mean, I can't imagine a thousand watt mid-drive motor. That would just absolutely kill that hill. This thing destroyed it, so. But here's what I was talking about with, uh, you gotta baby the throttle. If you don't baby the throttle, I'll put my feet on the ground and you just hit it. <laughs> It never gets old on this bike. Holy cow, it's so hard to control. I mean, just, I can't even control the wheelie. Let me lean forward a little. There we go, holy cow. That's, I mean, this bike is crazy torque. And that's what you need for hills. You need the down low torque. So the bikes that have got that are, you know, the, the thousand watt peak and the mid drives all right there you go what'd you think i always do my best to show you real life footage of e-bikes in action i think that's where you get the most useful information right and i do my best to put out useful information on e-bikes so click subscribe if you uh if you like content like that and let me just summarize for you here about how to find a good hill climbing e-bike i think there's a couple things that you need to look for and again i'm not an e-bike expert at all i'm just a guy that's ridden well over 30 e-bikes so i've got to see a lot of different power deliveries and felt some great hill climbing bikes and some that weren't so great so here are the things i think you need to look for number one find a bike that's got peak output of over a thousand watts 
the higher the better is going to be you know i mean more power i'm going to climb the hill better right so if you can find a bike that's got a peak output thousand watts are up it's probably going to be a pretty good hill climber they typically they typically say on the website what they peak at so just look for that number two thing i'd say all-wheel drive if you can find an all-wheel drive bike you like having the double motors going just makes it stronger on the hills there's no way around it right um what else mid drive mid drive bikes i when people ask me hey i live in a really really hilly area i need strong hill climb power i usually recommend a mid drive it's just it's night and day the the power the raw punching power on those mid drive bikes because not only is it a stronger motor to start with but you're using the mechanical advantage of the gears right the power is getting run through the gears in the back whereas the hub drive all it does is spin the wheel the gears aren't even involved so this was by far the strongest bike up the hill so i would look for that peak power dual motor or mid drive those are probably going to be your strong hill climbing bikes i hope you found that helpful click subscribe talk to y'all later